So having collected a range of reference graphics, ranging from text, logos, anything related to your business sector, you can now go on to compose the mood board in its entirety, as you see here. Having composed the mood board, you can either keep it on screen during the sketching process as inspiration, or you can print it out. The mood board's also handy during the time when you come to develop your logo and illustrator, and you can keep the mood board at the side of your canvas for inspiration for final changes. Above all, the mood board is a catalyst between your research stage and your mind mapping stage, which I'll go on to explain. I must stress that it is vitally important that you do use a mood board because it takes a strain off the mind because you start with some inspiration as opposed to a mental blank canvas. Using a mood board doesn't mean to say that you have to copy off existing logos or ideas. It simply means that you start off with some idea of what's happening already within the marketplace.